Here now, Fox News political analyst. You saw him a little in the corner <laughs> of the screen. Caldwell. My friends, my friends. Caldwell so Strategy Consulting <laughs> founder, Gianna Caldwell. This is about equity. This is about outcomes, not opportunity. This is about ideology that is not consistent with our American values. We should not be hiring people based on any standard other than their qualifications to do the job and do the job well. Joe Biden, like all Democrats do around election time, begin to pander and push out policy that they believe that black folks are going to say, yay, we need to vote you back into office. He knows that, especially with the primary, that could be very tough for him. That's why they said, let's change South Carolina, where black voters are. Let's ensure that he's going to actually run away with this thing. He knows that it could be a tough reality that he faced because he's not made the lives of African Americans better by no measure. His administration hasn't either. So now they use this identity politics push to say that they're doing something when in actuality they have not been. So, you know, when I was in Congress, I had a whole, you know, I had every a montage of people, men, women, all backgrounds. And I think it's important to have people who think differently, not just Absolutely. like me. Absolutely, 100 percent. But they're qualified but I, first and foremost. But I hired the best people. Exactly. It happened to be, I mean, exactly. men, women, black, you know, Hispanic, um, Asian. I, I didn't care. I wanted qualification. And when you say things like this, I'm going to hire just based on diversity, it undermines the qualifications of good people who may apply. Absolutely. And you also create a deficit within the country for people who are relying on you to put out good policy measures yes. to better and improve the lives of these minority communities, if you want to call them. And we, when we call them minority communities, not just black and Hispanic, but you look at rural communities as well. These are folks who are lacking the attention. Look at Ohio. What happened with the train derailment? How, how, how long has it been b uh, before Pete Buttigieg showed up? And where's the president on this? This is a legitimate consideration. Uh, before we move on to your hometown, uh, I did, in the piece that Rich Lowry wrote, he just pointed out this this diversity, equity, inclusion movement across the entire federal government. He said, will the Justice Department adjust the FBI arrest to achieve demographic balance? Like, when, when you lay out this blanket annual policy, the possibilities are limitless, given the unfettered control within the federal government. It is. Continue. All right, let's, dear let's, sir. Let's go to the Chicago mayor election, which is in your hometown. It's just four days away. Remember when Mayor Lori Lightfoot actually said this? If you want them controlling your fate and your destiny, then stay home. Mm. Then don't vote. If I said anything other than everybody everywhere needs to vote, then I misspoke in the heat of a campaign rally. You know, Jenna, that, that last um, segment was a, a, a day or two after she made the first yes. quote. But Chicago means a lot to you, hometown. Also, you lost your brother in a shooting on June 20th. Tell me what you think about this race. Yeah, June 24th, my, my brother, baby brother Christian, was murdered. He would have been 19 this past Monday. Mm. When I see how pompous this mayor is, I recognize clearly and full on that black lives do not matter to Lori Lightfoot, black votes do. That has been her consideration. Mm. She's been completely and totally derelict in her duties. And usually I come in and I state the stats. These are the numbers. But I'm now a part of those numbers. My, my family is a part of those numbers. And it is unfortunate what she's done to that city. So many thousands of families have paid the price because of her inaction. But the solace that we can all take is that it is hopefully likely that she will not be the mayor when this reelection happens. That is my prayer. That is my hope. Lives, thousands of them depend on it. Have you heard from her at all? No. And I've reached out multiple times. I have not heard from her. And it is, it is what you tend to expect now from the mayor after we've seen her in action for the, these many years. But hopefully change is coming and it's going to be a good change. And at this point, it doesn't matter about if you're a Democrat or a Republican. We just want somebody in there that's going to do the job and do it well, who's going to put the lives of citizens and victims above those of criminals. Like we saw with Kim Fox do, drop 25,000 felony cases, including rape and murder. The city of Chicago needs a great transformation. And I just flew in from there today uh, doing a package for our network that will show this weekend. But I'll tell you, people are fed up. Safety is their number one consideration. 
And people who live there on a day-to-day -day basis are in fear for their lives, and that shouldn't be in any American city. John, just real quick, you know, you mentioned Kim Fox, the DA, and Lori Lightfoot, and I look at the emotion that, I mean, the loss of a, a brother. I, I don't know how you deal with that, and that must be the emotion of thousands of families in Chicago. Are they going to hold Kim Fox and or Lori Lightfoot to that's account? What I keep, that's what I keep hear, hearing, that Lori Lightfoot, we got the election coming up. A lot of people disapprove of her. I spoke with people just yesterday who were telling me, look, I voted for her the first election, but I can't do it again. And that's because they're in fear. People who could afford to leave have left. Ken Griffin, as we know, Citadel, he left. He took his entire company out. But what about the poor people that are there? They can't afford to leave. So they're suffering through tragedy after tragedy because of Lori Lightfoot and Kim Fox. Well, we love you. I love you back. Thank you so much. And we pray for you. Please and thank you. Please, pray thank you, you America, day. for keeping me in your prayers. God bless you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. All right.